Young Noble of The Outlaws responds to Little C's recent interview where the Brooklyn rapper recalls hearing Tupac's diss record hit him up. According to Little C's, it was all love for Tupac since the beginning. It wasn't just Big that had love, it's the whole Junior Mafia. Yeah, that yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. That was like, y'all, that was your brother. Yeah. Tupac was actually coming to our neighborhood. He'd come on Fulton Street in St. James and hang out with us. And, mm -hmm. you know, that was very rare in them times where artists, like, really came to your neighborhood. And yeah, really, not that neighborhood. To actually see somebody of his stature, Tupac, come to Brooklyn, St. James and Fulton, where niggas out there hustling, niggas out mm -hmm. there with people, and people getting robbed, and he's right there, regular, chilling, hanging out with us. Unfortunately, things turned for the worse and Tupac was robbed and shot at Quad Studios in 1994, an event that forever changed Biggie and Tupac's relationship. Reflecting on those times was Little C's. Because I actually understood him. I knew what he was about. We just didn't think he was going to go that hard. Like, right. God damn. Like, what the <laughs> Damn. Yeah. All right, it's, 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 some, it's, it's some, some misunderstandings. We know he's going to speak on that. He don't hold no water. That's one thing we all knew. We've been around him for for some time, you know what I mean? But I didn't think he was gonna really like go that hard. As Hit Em Up sends shockwaves throughout the music industry, Biggie Smalls instructed Junior Mafia not to respond. The big thing was hopefully I can get up with him and you know, we could talk this shit out. You know? Young Noble of the Outlaws became aware of Little C's recent interview as the Brooklyn rapper shared the clip on his IG while shouting out his Outlaw brothers. Young Noble would respond back by saying peace to my brother Little C's and Talib. I seen C's post this yesterday and I wanted to add some insight. First thing is that Pac wanted his beef with Big to be over before he passed. He hated how the media blew it up into a whole East vs West feud. It made the fans and the industry choose sides. He took responsibility and wanted to change the narrative, so he started working on the One Nation album. That album would have changed everything had it came to life how he envisioned it. Noble would also touch on how Little C's and the Outlaws put their beef behind them. Back in 2002, Young Noble and Little C's would connect over the phone thanks to a mutual friend. Initially, the conversation was heated, but ultimately cooler heads prevailed. As a result, years later, Little C's and the Outlaws would record a song together in honor of Tupac and Biggie. And I explained to him what happened. Like, yo, listen, that was our first time seeing each other. And then, but that opened up the dialogue for me and him to actually talk. And before you know it, me and him wound up being on the phone for like two hours. So I went from being very aggressive. He was right. aggressive. I was just like, yo, listen, I... I'm not with all that. Okay, I heard you the first time. What's up? Are we going to talk or are we not? You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And I wanted to say some things to him because I knew how close he was mm -hmm. to Pac. And I wanted to let him know some things that probably he didn't know about. Mm -hmm. Or some things that probably got read wrong or understood wrong. Yo. Me and Little C's talked for a few years before we did the song with K Slay. And before the public found out we talked. When I got off the phone with C's, that day in 2002, I called my outlaw brothers and they all thought it was needed that we talked and everybody agreed the whole situation was dead, we moving forward with positivity. Appearing on DJ K Slay's 2011 Rhyme or Die, the outlaws and little C's linked for the song Bury the Hatchet. Dear mama, my karma. As Little C's and the Outlaws were able to mature and let the beef rest in the past, Young Noble stated that he was disappointed in fans who'd rather see the two sides at odds. The most heartbreaking thing for me once it was public was the reaction of our so-called Tupac and Outlaws fan base. We was immediately attacked, hated on, and we was called every name in the book. They called me a traitor, they said I'm not a real outlaw, they said Pac rolling in his grave, and all kind of ish. I even received death threats. It was then I realized our fans aren't real fans, they are miserable people who would rather see us at war for the rest of our lives and each other simply for their entertainment. Instead of being happy that us young, beautiful, hardworking black men had a real conversation and realized that none of it was worth it, and we chose peace and life over the nonsense. Little C's dropped a comment and showed nothing but love and support for Noble. Nothing but love for you and the outlaw brother. Some people won't understand, but we do, and that's what matters. Back in 2022, Little C's appeared on Vlad TV where he revealed the two sides are looking to take things even further. But you know, hopefully we're going to try to put this Outlaw Mafia, Mafia Outlaw project together like a little six, seven song EP. 
I think uh, I think the game need that. Or oh, I want to sell more records, and this has just been really happening lately in an amazing way with guys that I respect and I love are seeing other 